What's up, guys? How are you? Happy Monday. Welcome into another episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. And this podcast is being brought to you by OmahaStakes.com, where juice at checkout. That promo code takes $10 off your order at OmahaStakes.com. All right, not a good week. I'm not even going to do the accounting because it was a losing week. I know it was a losing week. We're just going to flush that week and move on. It was not a good week. We go 0-3 yesterday, both college baseball bets wrong. I knew I was in trouble when I got up in the morning and the line had steamed against both bets. I was like, "Uh uh-oh, that's not good. Because really, to move a line in a college baseball game, that's sharp money, okay? that's the, The pros are moving that line, not the public. So I was annoyed with that. And then, my gosh, the fever, they were lucky. To win that, but the Chicago Sky, uh, I mean, they are so caught up in things that do not matter for basketball. It's incredible. And the whining, someone tell Angel Reese to shut up. I mean, my goodness gracious, crying about whistles. How about you don't hit somebody over the head with your elbow intentionally? Like, what are you doing? So, 0-3 there. But it's not all bad news. Russell Henley comes in, top 10. You got that even if you bet on books that had the dead heat rules, you catch that 550. So that was huge to win 2.75 units right there. We almost got it. We almost, if Bryson had bogeyed 18 and we went to a playoff, but that bunker shot, my gosh, what a shot. What a play, what a round, what a recovery for Bryson DeChambeau. Second U.S. Open for him. Hell of a shot on 18 to go up and down to win the U.S. Open. If he bogeys that, if he bogeys that, it's five. And we have Rory and Bryson in a playoff, and that means five under would have won the tournament. So he would have cashed the bet, the 1.35 unit bet on over or the score being worse than six under to win the thing. Six under six under won the thing. So we got hooked on that damn good number by the sports books for 274 and a half. It, fe- it fell 274. So books are good. We lost that on 1.35. We lost Willie Z, a half a unit there. And then Henley comes in and wins the 2.75 units for us. So we win about a unit, like 0.95 on that. So... We go down, you know, 3.4 on the day, but then we come back and win a unit. So 2.4 units down yesterday. So obviously a losing day, losing week, not great. So let's just move on to Monday. All NBA, boys. This is it, and girls. This is it. This is the last bet. This is going to be the end of the NBA season, in my opinion. So I'm going to only bet on the NBA. The first bet we are making, and these are going to be kind of rinse and repeat bets, guys. I don't need to handicap this much. First half team total, Boston Celtics at home, 55 and a half, over. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to bet more than a unit. I'm going to officially bet a unit, but I'm I'm on this for more than a unit. Uh, This is my favorite bet of the night, okay? I will be stunned if the Boston Celtics do not come out on fire in the first half stunned if they don't it's a series and boston's in trouble boston was due to lay an egg boston was due to get humbled and that's what happened in game four but now you're home for game five and boston off of double digit losses they lost two games by 20 plus points in the regular season they won the next game by 32 and 16 points they're 4-1 and one on the year, coming off of double-digit losses. Now it's the playoffs. It's the NBA Finals. I get all of that. However, this is a Celtics team that had won 10, 10 games straight in the playoffs. Like, they were due to lay an egg, okay? So now they're at home. Everyone's going to say the pressure's all on Boston. If Luka and company win this game, oh my God. Okay, all very true. Boston Celtics team total over first half, 55 and a half. I think Boston scores 60. I think you could ladder this, okay? I think Boston's going to hit a lot of shots tonight. Hit a lot of threes. I think you could look at, you know, made threes by Derek White, made threes by Jason Tatum, made threes by Al Horford. I have no idea if, if Porzingis plays, why? I mean, hold him for game seven. 
Like you lose game five, you got to go to Dallas. You'll probably lose game six. You'll come back home for a game seven, then play Persingas. Like uh, it looks like a decoy to me. I don't think he's going to play, but I mean, that's that game seven is scheduled for, I think, Sunday of next weekend. So like I think it's Monday, Thursday, Sunday. I think it's how it's scheduled. So I 100% would play him in game seven. I would not play him in game five. I would not play him in game six. I'd play him in game seven. But I don't think we're going to a game six or seven for that matter. Celtics, first half team total over 55 and a half for 1.1 units. Bet that. Again, you can ladder that. I'm going to be on that for more than a unit, but that's my favorite play of the night. Second bet, game over, half a unit. It's 209. I'm going to bet this over because I think we've hit the basement. I think 209 is the low, okay? We've seen this number, and it's been remarkable. I mean, you talk about Dallas being an under team at home. All four games have gone under, and we've been on them, okay? We've been just, you know, rinse and repeat here when it comes to the under in this series. However, five straight unders for the Boston Celtics. We've got uh, four straight unders, five out of six for Dallas. But the Celtics at home this year were 28 and 23 to the over. Boston, in game one, it went under, but it was 107 89 and 105 98. We're approaching this number where you're like, okay, we're down to 209. It's a closeout game. At home, where if Boston hits their threes, the question is going to be how many points will Dallas score? Because Dallas scored 122 points. That was the first time they scored over 100 points in the series. If they don't get to 100 points tonight, they can't win. They've got so like I'm only going to place a half a unit on this. Okay, this is a light bet. This is not a bet I'm going to make heavily here. The last time Dallas had a 209 total was in the closeout game on the road against the Timberwolves in game five, in which they scored 124 points and the game went over by 18 points. So I am going to just say, all right, both offenses may be hot tonight. Let's go over 209, but I don't love it, okay? Half a unit. I'm only playing a half a unit on it. Now, what am I doing with the other half a unit? Boston Celtics minus six and a half. We're going to bet this to win a half a unit. Okay. So it's basically 0.55. Okay. On both those bets. I think if Boston wins, Boston covers. I think this game could look very similar to game one. Okay. I don't think it's as big of a blowout. The game one total was 217 and a half to give you an idea. It went under by 21 and a half points. Boston scored 107 points. It was 107.89. I don't think Boston's going to be up by 20 points in this game. I don't think it's going to be like that. But I do think Boston has a really good shot of winning this game by double digits. They have covered six and a half in every game that they've won in this series. Game one, game two, game three. They won by seven. They won by seven. And they won by Uh, what 18 okay when they lost they got housed they win i think they cover half a unit boston celtics minus six and a half celtics to win and cover now two bets to get into here for us on the game two prop bets to get into for us here on the game luka Doncic's point total is 32 and a half luka has not hit this point total yet in this series They keep on putting up 32 and a half. The public keeps on betting it over. It keeps on losing. It's 0 and 4. Does Luca go crazy? Maybe. But Luca's stamina is a problem. 38 minutes, 42 minutes, 38 minutes, 33 minutes. In the second half, the drugs wear off. Okay? The drugs wear off. In the first half, he feels great. The drugs are there. His back and his knee feel great. You get to the second half, uh uh-oh. Can't give him any more drugs. It wears off. He isn't nearly as effective. He hurts. He's sore. He's tired. Under 32 and a half points. Luka Doncic bet to win a half a unit and minus 110. We're going under. Keep the streak alive. Luka under 32 and a half points. And then if Porzingis doesn't play or if he's just, you know, if he doesn't warm up, doesn't run around, if he's not playing, okay, 
You can wait to bet this if you want, because I don't think this number is going to move. Hauser over one and a half threes. This guy's been awesome for us. He's just been great, and I think he's going to continue to be great. I think he's going to continue to cash this bet for us. It's minus 108 now. We don't get plus money anymore, right? We got plus 124, then we got plus 105. This is now minus 108. The number's not moving. The juice is moving. But I like Hauser. I like Hauser to get some run here as long as we do not see Przingis in the game. I think Hauser will be off the bench defensively, offensively. I think he'll get a bunch of shots. Uh, I mean, look, even in, it was a blowout, I know, but Hauser has been getting looks, and they've been looking for him off the bench to take threes. I mean, Hauser took uh, four threes, sorry, six threes in game three, or game four, rather. Four of six. Hit four of them. We just need two, right? He hit three in game three. He hit two in game two. Sam Hauser, over one and a half made threes, minus 108. Bet it to win a half a unit. And that is how we're going to approach this day today. I'm not betting baseball I'm not betting anything else all on basketball here and let's see if the NBA season comes to a close here tonight at home the Boston Celtics were 37 and 4 in the regular season in the playoffs or in the regular season rather 37 and 4 that is an unbelievable home record okay Dallas wasn't bad on the road 25 and 16 but this is a big moment for both Jalen and Jason Brown Jalen Tatum and Jason Brown this is a big moment for everyone in a Celtic uniform. And, and look, Dallas might come out and punch him in the mouth early. It wouldn't be shocked here, okay? Six and a half. You can take Dallas plus six and a half and look to get a better number in game and then go ahead and even get Boston on the plus side too. You can play that if you want. I'm also going to say you may you have over 209. If we get off to like a wicked fast start, and yes, I'm saying that on purpose, you get off to a wicked fast start, you could get 210, 220, 230. Depends on how fast the game starts, okay? And bet under. If you want to look to middle it like we've been doing, 10 points. If we get an in-game 219, bet under. You have over 209, under 219, okay? Not bad. Fourth quarter has slowed down dramatically, by the way. Fourth quarter scoring is like 50 points. For whatever reason, these teams don't score in the fourth quarter. It slows down big time. So if we're entering the fourth quarter and we're somewhere like a pacing like 220, 221 or something like that, you can feel pretty good about an under coming in here in this game. So... Full unit play, 1.1 units. Celtics team total over 55 and a half in the first half. Half a unit, Boston minus six and a half. Half a unit, over 209. Half a unit, Luca under 32 and a half points. Half a unit, Hauser over one and a half threes made here. Let's see what happens in game five of the NBA Finals. We got a game six. I think Dallas wins game six, and we're going to a game seven. So this is either a game five over, or we're going seven in the NBA Finals, and a whole lot of pressure will be on the Boston Celtics. They forced Miami to play seven, but Miami's still one in seven. Boston, and by the way, if this does go seven, we win the Mavericks plus one and a half bet, right? I, took, I picked Boston in seven. That's what was my prediction. Let's see if we go to seven. Does it end tonight, or do we potentially go back to Boston next weekend? My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. DLG's podcast always being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com.